On a sunny day, it's hard to imagine bad weather, even in the south of France. But being able to predict meteorological issues is hugely important. And ESA and UMETSAT have been developing and operating satellites for weather forecasting since 1977. All sorts of spacecraft are built here at Talus Alinius Space in can, covering missions ranging from the Earth to Mars. And one of the latest spacecraft that they're building, the Meteosat third generation Imager, is going to help ensure improved weather forecasting in Europe for the next 20 years. The first Meteosat third generation Imager, or MTGI-1, is the first of six advanced satellites to launch. The full mission comprises two different types of satellite, images and sounders. They'll operate in a fleet of three, two images and one sounder, in geostationary orbit. A three-axis stabilised platform means consistent coverage as its sights are firmly fixed on the Earth below. The MTGI satellites have two main instruments, a lightning imager which will pick up storms and extreme weather events in their infancy, and a flexible combined imager with improved higher resolution compared to the previous generation. FCI, which is the flexible combined imager, is a natural progression of what we've been doing. It will give continuation of data. The lightning imager is a step change for Europe. We've never had one before. And it will be very interesting to see how the MET services actually integrate that into, into their systems. UMETSAT, the organisation that operates Europe's meteorological satellites, has been leading consultations with its data users to ensure this new mission responds to forecasters' needs. We are keeping three of the satellites on ground and then after 10 years we are replacing them in order to give the users uh, the same data for 20 years from the same type of satellite and same type of instruments for 20 years. In the clean room before the new MTGI-1 launches, final preparations were made before the satellite would ship to the launch site. The spacecraft was tested within the extreme temperature range of space using this enormous vacuum chamber. Here, the satellite was equipped with its solar panels. The first of two MTGIs in the fleet will scan the Earth's disk every 10 minutes. The third spacecraft, the sounding satellite, will provide vertical profiles of temperature and moisture over Europe every 30 minutes. This will lead to a much faster delivery of data called nowcasting. Space has uh, revolutionized the way to look at the Earth. And now casting uh, means that you can have uh, basically in real time or semi real time information about the weather forecast. And on top of that, not only is it more accurate, it's immediate, but it allows to uh, have information which are uh, much more important on uh, extreme weather events related activities like uh, thunderstorms. The satellite is now on its way to Kourou, travelling by ship ahead of its launch from Europe's spaceport in French Guiana on an Ariane 5. And for the civil aviation industry or those at sea, or the many affected by extreme events, Meteosat third generation satellites will not just improve forecasts, they'll undoubtedly save lives. <laughs>